Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Bean here, and today I'm coming at you with a video that I have not done probably since August. If you hear noise in the background, Mike is playing video games, and I think it's Call of Duty, so he's quite loud today. But I'm just going to hop into it because I ended up in a couple slumps, both reading and depressive slumps over the past couple months. Quarantine is really starting to get to me, and... um my therapy instead of buying clothes or anything like that I bought books which seems like now I'm looking at it and it was kind of a bad idea but no regrets um and I'm just gonna hop right into it right away so let's get into it the first book the first book that I'm going to talk about is actually one that I was gifted and I was given Legend Born by Tracy Dion by Callie because she ended up having two copies of this book so now I have one. I also should say that I will not be going through the descriptions of each of these books or else we will be here literally until next year. So we're just gonna go through I'm gonna talk about them, maybe talk a little bit about like where I got them or anything like that, maybe a summary um, or why I got them and maybe a summary. If I get that far, we'll see, but all right. All right, the next thing I'm gonna move on to are the book boxes that I got over the past two months. So I have, I'm gonna start off with three books that I got from Unplugged Book Box because I am a subscriber to their adult Unplugged Box. And I believe that the, September book that I got I believe that was um The Hollow Places by T. Kingfisher uh horror novel I think it looks super interesting it talks about taxidermy um oddity museums and um alien eccentric uncle earl so I was intrigued and then I believe October's book was when no one is watching and that is by Alyssa Cole this is a story about a neighborhood that is changing over time and not in a good way and I think it sounds very interesting it sounds like a, a bit of a cultural study like a civic cultural civic culture study so I am quite interested in this one as well this month November I got Simmer Down by Sarah Smith. Now this is a food truck romance, so I am super pumped for this one. It sounds absolutely adorable and I cannot wait to read it. All right, then the next one I'm going to talk about is the book that I got from Beacon Book Box last month. All of my months are kind of like melding together into one and I don't know what happened to them. All right, I'm just confused and sorry, I. Mm -hmm. And then the book that I got last month from Beacon Book Box was These Vengeful Hearts by Katherine Lauren. And this sounds like an intriguing Queen of Hearts story, I believe. So I love the cover on this one. I cannot get over it. So the next stack of books I have are the books I got from Book of the Month. I ended up ordering two books a month for the past two months because I'm trash like that. And the books that I got in October were Star Daughter by Shveta Thrakrar. Um, I am super excited about this one. I actually talked about this one in a recent release video, and this is about the daughter of a star. So I think that sounds really intriguing and super interesting. The other book I got is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. Um, I haven't actually read any Frederick Bachman books, but I think this one sounds absolutely adorable and very relatable, and I'm very curious to see. Um, it's all about a failed bank heist and a bunch of anxious people stuck together. I'm down. And then this November, I got The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab because I had to. There's no, no other reason. And then because I've been in a mood, which you will know if you watch my other channel where I'm talking a lot about my writing, I picked up The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. Now, this is a murder mystery and basically a bunch of people who have done th done terrible things are invited to the same place and then they start dying it's basically like and then there were none kind of thing and i'm super excited for this i love these kinds of books and i have really gotten into them lately i only hit up barnes and noble once over the past couple months and the two books i picked up are the first one is the Other Side of the Sky by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. All I know is this is a romance between a native on a planet and someone from space. And it's royal. I, it's, 
it sounds really cute and I really like the cover and I've only heard amazing things about Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner's writing, especially when they write together. So I'm very excited for this one. And the other one I picked up completely on a whim is It Came From the Sky by Chelsea Sedoti. <laughs> this is basically about two brothers who start the rumor of a UFO sighting in their small town and end up making it into this huge big phenomenon for their town and it turns out they were lying the whole time and it's all about them trying to cover up this lie and trying to cover up the whole thing and it's I cannot wait it's huge but I cannot wait for it so I did a thing and I actually ended up placing a book outlet order I am I have a love-hate relationship with book outlet right now I am on the fence about supporting them, but they came out with their Black Friday deals and I just picked up some of the ones that I have been eyeing up for quite a while. I haven't actually bought anything from them since maybe March. So almost a year I haven't bought anything from them. And honestly, I don't feel the desire to very often. I only went on here for the Black Friday sale. So yeah, we're just going to hop into it right now. and. If you guys aren't a fan of the fact that I did buy them, I do apologize, but this is what I did. So we're going to move on from it. The first book and the main reason why I placed this book outlet order is because Lifelike by Jay Kristoff was on there for $3. Go. Yes. So I want to read this series so bad. I love Jay Kristoff's writing and I cannot wait to get into it. All I know is that this one is about um, artificial intelligence, and it's a three book series so far, I think. The next book I got is actually a sequel to a book that I already have, and it is The Spider by Leo Carroll. Carew? Carew? Leo Carew, I believe is how you say it. Um, and one, I love the covers on these books. The first one is The Wolf, so, oh. The first one is The Wolf, so you can see the cover right there. Um, and I got it as one of the very first books I ever got in a book box. And it was a fantasy story. And I'm going to need to reread it so I can read it. The second one that I didn't realize had come out. So yeah, but it's an epic fantasy series. So I'm quite intrigued to get into another one. The next book I picked up is I picked up a copy of Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. I have been meaning to reread this series and since I do not own them and I've been having issues with my library lately, um, I just decided to pick up this one since it was super cheap at the time. I also finally managed to get my hands on a copy of The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle. Um, I have never read the actual chapter book of this. I have read the children's picture book like a bajillion times. Sorry, this sweater is too big. But I have never read the chapter book. And so now I have to because you just can't not. And it's, it's blurred by Patrick Rothfuss too. So yeah, I just, I need to read it. And it was on Book Outlet for like $2. So I picked it up. So for those of you who have been following us for a while or who have talked to me before, you know, one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite author, is Shauna McGuire. And so I found a couple of her books on there, so I couldn't say no. Um, the first two I picked up are Sparrow Hill Road, and the sequel is The Girl in the Green Silk Gown. Um, these are horror novels, and I believe that Boneyard Deadlands is is like in the same series possibly that or it's just the same genre and this is um based off of a role-playing game and this one's just a horror novel about a girl who becomes immortal so i'm intrigued by all of these i love shauna mcguire's writing uh her writing is actually the writing that got me into thrillers and horror with her book um, Into the Drowning Deep, so I highly recommend her stuff. She's so good at the creepy realistic sort of writing, so highly recommend. The next book I picked up is the third book in a series. I do have the first two and I've read the first one, and that is Voodoo Shanghai by Christy Cherish. This is the third book in the Kansas Strange novel, all about a voodoo practitioner named um, Kansas Strange named Cancid Strange. I don't know why that took me a second, but I actually didn't know that this book was out. 
and it was. So now I have it. Now I can read the others. Yeah. Well, now I can read that one too, but. The next book I picked up is one that I've actually been seeing this whole, tr this whole, I think is a four book series um, around on Instagram, actually, of all places. And that is A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Colt Kozloff, by Sarah Kozloff. Um, all I know is that this is a cinematic epic fantasy series. So I'm intrigued. I think the cover is beautiful and I am very intrigued by this. It, the series is called The Nine Realms um, and nothing stays hidden from destiny. So I'm quite intrigued. I could use more fantasy as always and maybe one of these books will get me out of my slump that I am currently in. So as you may have seen in my last video, which was my bookshelf, the last video that I did, it was my bookshelf tour. <laughs> it was my bookshelf tour. I picked up two books, um, also by an author that I have grown to love who writes very creepy horror novels, um, and that is Christina Henry. So I finally picked up Alice by Christina Henry, and I picked up Lost Boy by Christina Henry because I have become fascinated with horror lately. Apparently that's my, like, my new thing is I'm into horror novels. I don't know where it came from, but these are the true stories about Alice and Captain Hook. So let's see. So the next book I picked up because it sounded very much like a D&D &D campaign, and I'm kind of here for that since our campaign has been put on hold until further notice due to scheduling errors. Um, and that is The Outsourcer's Apprentice by Tom Holt. So I know very little slash nothing about this book, but... Yeah, it's all about fanta fantastical creatures and, like, them being in the workforce, so I think it sounds absolutely hilarious, and I am here for the strange ones, apparently. Of course, it's me, and I couldn't go through an order without buying a dragon book, so I ended up picking up Servant of the Crown, the third book in the Dragon Slayer series by Duncan M. Hamilton. I have the first book, Dragon Slayer, right here. So I now have the second one, or I now have the third one. They only have the second one in paperback, and I want them all to match. So I need to find the second one in hardcover. And that one is red. I know that much. It's called Night of the Silver Circle. So, yes. And I love the art. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so beautiful. And it's like painted. It's, it's so pretty. I love it so much. I did pick up a new manga series. Um... Mostly because I could, and I saw it, and I couldn't say no to this one. And it's How to Treat Magical Beasts, Mine and Master's Medical Journal. Um, so this is the second book in the series, um, because I couldn't find the first one. <laughs> but, yeah, so I have the second one, and it just seems really cute. And it's all about um, a, lo a girl who's working with her master to try and save the, like, her we say master, but it's more like her teacher uh, trying to save these mythical creatures. And I think it sounds absolutely adorable. And I cannot wait to start reading it when I finally get book one. Because I'm smarty pants. <laughs> I picked up book two first. The next two books I got are two books in a series. I think they're a complete duology. And that duology is, um, the first book is Dark Shores, and the second one is Dark Skies, both by Danielle L. Jensen. Um, I believe I have read something else by her, but I'll be darned if I can remember what it is off the top of my head. Anyways, these two are pirate stories, or mermaid stories, I think. I don't remember, but Callie loves them, so I thought I would give them a try because they were cheap again, and now I have a problem. I did pick up one nonfiction book, and that is The Hilarious World of Depression by John Moe. Um, I just... Irony in titles captures my attention. Yeah, this just talks about um, John Moe, who is a podcaster... It talks about his journey with depression and be like having a family, having kids, having a job, and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it'll be an intriguing read for sure. That's all I have for you guys here today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I got too many books again, 
and no one's surprised. So we're going to move on from that. And yeah, that's what I got for you guys here today. So if you enjoyed this video, please now is the perfect time to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Um, we post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And if you want to be notified whenever we post these videos, you can hit the little bell icon down below. All of our contact information and any information you can want will be down in the description, along with the fact that we would love to talk to you guys down in the comments. So feel free to leave us a comment down below. Um, if you celebrate, happy Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is this week. Um, we aren't doing anything, so I might we might put up a video. I'm not sure yet. We will... We'll let you know. Uh, so until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep reading. Bye!